how to contact any site's webmaster to remove your content from Google search results and from their website. The first thing you'll need to do is navigate to the following URL address, which is https colon slash slash support dot google dot com slash web search slash answer slash nine one zero nine. You should then be taken to Google search help with a guide called contact a site's webmaster provided by Google. So this is the guide that we'll be following today to get our content removed from a site that is also indexed on Google search results. So I'm just going to take you through it here. So let's read the first line. To remove content from a website, you usually need to contact the webmaster, the person who owns the website. Even if you found the content using Google, Google doesn't control the content on the site. This is true because Google is just a search engine and as a search engine, all you want to do is index the entire World Wide Web. So therefore, you need to get the content removed on the actual site before you can get it removed from Google search results. Whether that's your personal information, such as your name, address or contact information, or an image that you would like removed. All right, next line. Why contact the webmaster? Even if Google deletes the site or image from our search results, the page still exists on the site. This means it can be found through the URL to the site, social media sharing, or other search engines. Your best option is to contact the webmaster because they can remove the page entirely. Note, if a photo or information shows up in Google search results, it just means that the information exists on the internet and it doesn't mean that Google endorses it. Again, this leads back to the fact that Google is a search engine and all it does is index everything that exists on the internet. All right, guys, so now let's move on to how to contact a webmaster. And these are the three steps that we're going to be following today. So there are several ways to contact the owner of a site. The first method is contact us link. Find a contact us link or an email address for the webmaster. This information is often on the site's homepage. All right, so let's do the first method here. So I'm just going to open up another tab here on google.com and now I'm going to search for an image that let's say is me on the internet that I want removed from a site and Google search results. So I'm just going to type next island here and then I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to hit images because it's an image that I want removed. So I'm just going to scroll down here Okay, let's pretend this image here is me and I want this image removed from Nexus website and Google search results. So all you need to do is actually go onto the main website and check if it's actually live and still exists on Nexus website. So I'm just going to left click on this hyperlink text here and it should open up another tab and take me to where the original image is located. So as you can see, we're now on next.ie and we're on slash en slash men and this is the men's collection. And as you can see, the image is here and I don't want this image on Nexus website anymore. I want it to be removed from here so that I can get it removed from the Google search results. So how do you go about doing this? As you remember on the contact a site's webmaster guide by Google, what we need to do is find a contact us page. So usually it's at the top here. So I can't see currently a contact us page, maybe here. No, there's no contact us page here. Sometimes it's all the way at the bottom. So again, there's no contact us page here. So I'm just going to scroll back up to the top. So let's left click on help. Maybe it's in here. Let me just scroll down again. Oh yeah, here it is. So it says contact us. So I'm just going to left click on this. So as you can see, sometimes it's well hidden. So you need to dig through the website to find the contact us page or an email address or as a last resort, even a phone number to contact them on. So I'm just going to scroll down here. So there we go, we have three options. We have live chat, we have a phone number here, and send us an email. When requesting your content to be removed from a website, I recommend sending an email because you'll have an actual copy and so will they. All right, so all you need to do is grab the email address by right clicking on this tab here. If the email is already a text, then all you need to do is copy it. Or if the only option is to send an email on their website, then you can just do that too. So I'm just going to copy the email address here and then I'm going to open up my email inbox. So as you can see, I use ProtonMail as my email provider and I'm just going to hit compose here. And then in the recipient, I'm going to just right click and paste in the email address of next. And then I suggest adding a subject and composing your email with the details of the image that you want removed, why you want it removed and how they should be able to contact you. So for example, for the subject, if I wanted that picture removed, I would just type the following content removal request and then maybe urgent 
to get their attention and then begin composing your email. Maybe even include the link of the image or piece of information that you want removed from their website. So for example, I'm just going to go back to Nexus website here and I'm just going to hit the back button just so I can find the image that I want removed. And I'm just going to right click on this image and then copy the image address and then go back to my email address and then just simply paste in the image URL. So let's test that real quick here. So I'm just going to enter that into a new tab real quick. And as you can see, it takes you to the image itself, which is what we like to see. And therefore, if they click on this link, they'll also know what we're talking about. All right, so that's one example if the contact us page is easy to find and is visible on the webmaster site. So I'm just going to delete this email now. All right, so what do you do now if there is no contact us page on a webmaster site. So for example, I'm just going to hit this tab here and this is my personal website. And as you can see, it's fairly simple with one page and clearly there is no contact us page or any other tabs to take us to different web pages. Let's pretend these four URLs don't exist here. And let's say it was just a very, very bland and basic website. And let's say this is the image that we wanted to remove here, this logo image here and we wanted it to be removed from this website. How do we go about doing that? Let's go back to Google's guide on contacting a site's webmaster. So I'm just going to left click on this tab here and move on to method two. So for method two, it says find contact information using who is. You can perform a who is, who is, search for the site's owner using Google. Go to google.com and search for who is, www.example.com. The email address to contact the webmaster can often be found under registrant email or administer of contact. Pay close attention to registrant email or administer of contact. All right, so it basically says you need to go to google.com and then search who is, and then click on one of the who is services. So in this tab here, I have a who is service from whois.com slash who is. So this is a who is tool to look up a certain domain name. So I'm just going to go back to my website here. So I'm just going to copy the domain name. You'll copy the domain name for where your personal information is currently on. And then you go back to whois.com here and then you just simply paste in the domain name and then all you need to do is left click on search. I'm just going to dismiss the cookies here. And then as you can see, you'll be given a list of information here. So first of all, you have the domain information for websplaining.com. Your domain name of choice will be here. Then you have the registering contact information and the administrative contact information. All right, so going back to Google's guide here, for step two, it says the email address to contact the webmaster can often be found under registrant email or administrative contact. Let's take a look at the two email addresses provided in these areas. So I'm going to go back to whois.com here, and then I'm going to take a look at the registrant contact, and then I'm going to navigate down to where it says email. As you can see, we have the email address here. Let's scroll down a bit and look at the administrative contact. And as you can see, it looks fairly similar. And yeah, it is, it's exactly the same. So we can copy either one of these. So I'm going to scroll up and copy the registrant contact information here. So I'm just going to copy this email address here. And then I'm going to open up my email inbox and I'm going to left click on compose. And then I'm going to paste in the recipient's email address, which is the one we just copied. So there we go, it's email at whosguard.com. And then in the subject again, I'm going to put content removal request and then maybe urgent again in here and then again you'll type your email out and then maybe include the image or the personal information that you would like removed explain it in detail so i'm just going to go back to the website that has my content on here and i'm going to copy this image here and i'm going to copy the image address go back to my emails and paste in the image link here so they know what i'm talking about all right just one more thing i want to add this email address here, if we go back to the Who's website here, you can see that it says protected. And yes, sometimes you can pay extra to the domain registrar to protect your personal information. But still, it is possible to reach the webmaster as the domain registrar will most likely forward your email to them. Sometimes, however, you're lucky and you'll get the actual webmaster's email address in the registrant contact or the administrative contact information and you'll be able to email them directly. All right. I'm just going to go back to my email address here and I'm going to just destroy this email real quickly. And let's take a look at the third option in the contact a site's webmaster guide from Google here. So the third 
method here, contact the site's hosting company. The Who search result usually includes information about who hosts the website. If you're unable to reach the webmaster, try to contact the site's hosting company. All right, so let's go back to our Who is search results here. And let's scroll back up to the top here, which says domain information. So where it says name servers here is where you'll be able to find the website's hosting information. If you are lucky enough, sometimes the registrar and the name servers are from the same source. Therefore, you only have to email once. However, in this case, as you can see, the name servers where the website is hosted points to ns1.net, I guess. So I'm just going to copy the domain name of this website here and then open up another tab here on the far end. So I'm just going to paste that and then hit enter. And then we'll be taken to the hosting company for the webmaster site. Now, again, what we're looking for is some kind of contact information. So let's have a look here and see if we can find the contact information. So I'm just going to look at the top of the tabs here just to see. So in resources is customer support, but we're not a customer. So there's nothing at the top here. Let's have a look through the website itself. Scroll all the way to the bottom here. Oh, there's contact us. So I'm just going to left click on contact us here. And then if we take a look on the right hand side here, we only have two options really, the sales and the customer support. So I'm going to just copy the customer support as it's the better of the two, not ideal, but this is what we have to work with. So I'm just going to copy the email address here, go back to my emails again, click on compose and paste in the recipient's email address here. Again, write your subject as we've done previously. Again, explain the situation, what you want removed exactly with the URL of the image or the pieces of information that you want removed. So like so, and how they can reach you. All right, guys, and that pretty much concludes the third method of contacting a site's webmaster. So I'm just going to navigate back to the first tab here just to give you a brief summary of what I showed you. So the first method here was the contact us link. We did that with next. The second method was contacting the registrant email or the administrative contact information. And then the third option was contacting the site's hosting company. And before I end the video, there's one more paragraph here on this guide, and it's right at the bottom. It says, if the webmaster has already made the changes you requested to the site that appears in our search results, you can ask that we remove outdated information by sending a web page removal request. So I'm just going to right click here and then left click on open link in a new tab. And then I'm just going to left click here. You'll then be taken to the Google search console where you can request remove outdated content. You'll only need to do this once the content has been removed from the original source, such as the webmaster's site. I've made a video on this on how you can request removal of your content from Google search engine once it's been removed from the source. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so